Hi, my name is Yaya. <clears throat> I work for HDI. Uh, this is a video uh, talking um, also very quickly about interference analysis and frequency assignment. So let's see what we have. We have a, a digital terrain model. Uh, we have a cloud model. Okay, we have satellite image and, and so on. We also have a network here. Now that network for your information, it is um, a Tetra. And we've got transmission power 81 ERP completely. And then we've got some frequency plan assigned, transmission antenna height, uh, band is 25 kilohertz with some uh, antenna. I've just left it as an omni antenna for now. And we've got a threshold of neg 95 dBm. These are the basic information you need to have in place. So I've got the I've got this as network. So um, the red are, is the existing network and the blue is the new proposed site that we need to find frequency. So currently, if we conduct uh, 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 coverage predictions, so the first step in interference analysis or in frequency assignment is that you need to conduct the coverage prediction. So you can go and compute the coverage. Uh, depending on the radius, so usually for Tetra, you need to go maybe 30 kilometer or 50 kilometer. Expect interference all the way, so done. The coverage is done. Once you have the coverage, you can conduct interference analysis to build understanding of the current situation based on existing frequency I have here. So you go to network uh, interference analysis, C2I, and then you go with the global, global interference analysis, and then you go to C2I. So I'm going to, because, I, because I've already selected uh, Tetra as a signal type for every station, I could check the, 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 I, the C2I tables, and that this should help you uh, extract the protection ratios um, from the database. If you don't have it, you need to take control. You need to tell the software the core channel is 19 dB, for example. So now you do preview just to double check, make sure it's working. Now you see, you see C2I is being picked up. 19 dB, this is a case of core channel. 34975, 34975, 19 dB, and then net 45 dB for probably adjacent channels and so on. So this is confirming that the software uh, is successfully extracting from a database the C2I protection ratio based on your technology that you that you selected. If it doesn't work, you need to check again what's going on, and then uh, maybe you need to specify the value manually. So this is done now. Uh, run run the global interference analysis, and then let's see how we go. So this is going to conduct interference analysis, and I, I do expect interference in that area because here this is a sort of interference. You can see here it's all pink. So uh, that means there's a, there's a violation, there's interference. So how are we going to solve the problem? So first you need to isolate the station, or all the stations you need to assign, you go and isolate them. So now you see we've got only uh, the new site, the existing sites are deactivated, because I want to do a frequency assignment, and I don't want to mess up the existing frequency plan. So you go to coverage, you go to network, uh, um, um, you go to network um, calculation, sorry, network planning, network frequency assignment, so the frequency assignment, uh, this is one, two, three tabs, or three panels. The first panel, you need to select uh, your frequency range, or the channels you're going to use. You can do this in multiple ways. One way is... So when you, when you, use, the, when you use the band option, you, um, you um, specify the, the maximum frequency and the minimum frequency of uh, interest, and then you, you specify uh, the, the step, the channel step. So that should help us put here the zero value. Uh, that should help us uh, generate automatically the channel plan that we're going to use, or the channel plans that we're going to pick from uh, to assign a new station. So once this is done, hit OK, and from here you choose the rules. You could use Monte Carlo, which is a random or adaptive or sequential, which is uh, uh, going one by one from the lowest frequency to the highest frequency. So let's do the Monte Carlo, which is random, and choose here high number, like 10 or 15. Okay, and then hit start. So that should assign a frequency. Here you go, done already. So station number nine already now have a frequency, 349.1. So close, close. So activate the rest, control A. Now you see the, 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 the frequencies. Uh, now, to, to check the usage of the of your spectrum, you hit you use the, the shortcut Q, Q on the keyboard. So Q, this is the first one. That's the second one. Different frequency, different frequency, different frequency, different frequency. So you can see how the core channels are used. So all these are unique, unique frequencies. And you can see how they are uh, uh, placed in, in your network. So control A, activate all. Now let's run interference analysis again. Network interference, C2I. 
And then uh, this is the global interference again. C2I, we're using the, the, the C2I tables. Again, because I have a signal type set to Tetra. So hit OK. And now we should see no interference. So there's no pink anymore. Okay? Just little dots, and that's probably because of the, the um, one of the signals too far away, which is adjacent channel, but this is very minimal. So um, this is how you conduct C2I analysis. You can also do intermodulation analysis. If you have number of sites uh, coexisting in the same spot, uh, then you can do uh, intermodulation analysis to validate your, your frequency from intermodulation perspective. But you usually care about, you, 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 we usually, usually do that for all stations within 20 meters, roughly 20 meters, uh, within within that site, you need to do uh, intermodal analysis. So I will, I will keep the intermodal analysis to different video.